My living histories talk focused on exploring my own timeline non-linearly and also exploring the different types of connections from events throughout my life and my career and how they continue to impact me in the future. One thing I realized after giving my talk though was that I hadn't focused on how this kind of uh, feedback and non-linearity non also plays itself out in the science. And so I wanted to include one slide that shows how projects can spur innovation among themselves, can spur new collaborations and new ideas. So I start here with two separate projects. One was a collaboration with my colleagues, Richard Wilson and Katarina Carenzi, where uh, they were interested in developing M13 bacteriophage as reporters for a novel class of lateral flow assays. A second collaborative project was with my colleague Raman on Krishnamurthy, uh, focused on understanding how nanoparticles are transported in polymer solutions. But because um, students are creative and talk to each other, this led to another a number of different types of projects and papers where the physics of our nanoparticle transport work impacted the uh, application focused delivery. And the uh, specific use of our application based systems led us to explore new questions in physics. And so Jin Soo Kim, the student who was studying the development of lateral flow assays, collaborated with other students to look at fundamental aspects such as phage binding and aspect ratio and their effects on phage transport and complex media. Meanwhile, a new student, Maxwell Smith, uh, decided to use the phage reporters as model systems for studying nanoparticle transport, where here phage are now anisotropic nanoparticles. Our polymer nanoparticle transport work, meanwhile, continued on to look at nanoparticle transporting and charge polymer systems. And so in a third generation of projects, we've again continued to evolve and adapt the phage assays now to detect um, everybody's currently favorite or least favorite virus, SARS-CoV-2. We've started to use phage as anisotropic reporters to probe dynamics and transport inside solutions of charged polymers. We've realized through the studies of phage and nanoparticles that the charged polymer structure itself is interesting and affects our transport processes. And finally, uh, my two students working on phage have started to collaborate to make the biological modifications necessary to look at stiff phage rather than flexible phage. And so this slide to me, again, encapsulates the story that I had wanted to tell about how the different types of science that we study continue to feed back on each other. <laughs> 